What's going on guys? My name is Ivan Martinez, otherwise known as Mr. Martinez, and today we're going over Indochino suits. I guess in this video, we're going to go ahead and cover uh, Indochino. I'm going to give you guys a brief introduction on Indochino. We're going to talk about some pros and cons as well, because I know a lot of people want to know exactly like what the hype is all about because they're all over the place right now. Like just recently, I've been seeing a lot of like really big guys, like influencers, such as like, uh, the guys from like the gents lounge, um, a few other guys that are very well known. Uh, they're just like popping out of nowhere with like their Indochino suits. And uh, Indochino is definitely pushing uh, towards like their Black Friday deal that's going on right now. But I wanted to go ahead and make this video for that purpose. I want you guys to know what you guys are gonna purchase at that price point. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. We're gonna go ahead and start with a little bit of an introduction. So Indochino is a Canadian brand. It is a suiting company. They did move into uh, doing some shirting they also have uh chinos and then they also have top coats stuff like that we're just going to go ahead and cover their suits in this video um later on i will be covering shirts and all that i do have a video as far as chinos though so if you wanted to take a look at that review go ahead and hit that card up there you can go ahead and check out what i think as far as like their chinos just because i own a few pairs as well so indochino was established in 2007 and it was one of those very first brands that starting offering um, made to measure items at a very affordable price. So they started off with their um, very basic suit that starts at $399. Then they have their luxury suit, which is at $499. I guess so now that we have a little bit of an introduction of who Indochino is, let's go ahead and cover a little bit of that premium to luxury difference. Now, I have this premium suit right here. This is the Hemsworth charcoal. This was my very first suit that I actually got from Indochino. And um, I gotta say that I got it because of the color. And I got it because it's just a very versatile suit. And it was my very first one. And just like anything else, I always go for the very basics first. And then I go ahead and spooge on getting something completely different later. So with the premium, uh, the only thing with this fabric, I mean, don't get me wrong. It is a really, really nice fabric. However, it's not as good as luxury and it's only because this fabric uh, tends to wear down a little bit. I think that the premium is a very nice starting point as far as like suiting stuff like that. If you're in a pinch and you like really need a suit, but you don't want to spend like 500 bucks on one, premium is going to be a really good option for you. Uh, but again, just keep that in mind that you are going to pay for what you get. Moving on to the luxury option this one right here is going to be the harrogate now i'll have all of these linked down below so just go ahead and check out the description if you want links to anything um so just keep that in mind that you can go down there and just follow through but this guy right here has cashmere in it and i think that's the biggest advantage to the luxury option that the premium just cannot offer. So because it has a little bit of cashmere in it, it makes it more durable, makes it a little bit more comfortable. And I could totally feel the difference when I wear this jacket as opposed to wearing this jacket right here. And there isn't any difference as far as the way that it fits me. So the luxury line at Indochino is going to start at $4.99. Right now it is going to be on a deal. It's at $4.29. So you are saving a little bit of money there. And then also with the premium suits as uh, you saw before, uh, right now I believe they're somewhere at 329 and then there are past season ones that are at 289 as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Uh, so that's a more attractive one. Just keep that in mind that all of the 289 ones are going to be premium. So again, you're paying for what you get. Let's go ahead and hop into the pros and cons. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the pros first and i'm going to talk about the pros overarching i'm not going to talk about the pros for just uh the premium or the luxuries just because i feel like it's all the same at the end of the day so let's go ahead and talk about some pros of indochino and their fabrics so um some of the pros are the fact that the fabric is really good now whether or not you go with the premium or the luxury they are going to last you uh, relatively a good time so 
you are going to get a pretty nice suit for the price that you pay for. Um, I'm not saying that this is going to last you a lifetime, uh, especially if you wear a suit every day. It all comes down to like your lifestyle. So if you absolutely need to wear a suit every single day, I'd recommend that you actually go ahead and get the luxury option just because it's going to last you a little bit longer. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and talk about fit. Now, I won't go into this a lot. It's just basically, you know, it is going to be measured to you and you will have somebody measuring you. They'll put you in templates, all that other stuff. So ultimately, this is a suit that is going to fit you to the T. Now, that doesn't mean that you won't need any kind of adjustments later on after you get the suit. Next up on the pros is going to be pricing. So pricing, I don't think anybody else can be pricing as far as um being like custom made to measure place i think that indochino definitely has most if not all places probably beat uh after i started just kind of looking and kind of seeing this overall um uh, i think that right now because of the having deals and stuff for 289 you could get yourself a nice suit that's a really big steal guys if you know of a brand that has indochino beat for that price of 289 it because they're on sale um, definitely go ahead and leave that down in the comment section. Also go ahead and leave any kind of uh, brands that you know of that are custom made to measure that I should do a review on. I'd love to do that. So just go ahead and leave those down there. Another pro is the customizations. So the customizations are perhaps my favorite thing about the whole process of getting a suit from Indochino because they have so many. Uh, you could change everything from the canvassing. As I mentioned before, you could do unconstructed or have canvas. Uh, you get your option of having like an open or closed boutonniere. You can have functional buttonholes. Uh, you could change the color of your buttons as well. You can change whether or not you want a cuff on your pants, if you want suspender buttons. What else? You could change the fact that you can have peaks on your lapels. You can have them wide. You can have them slim. Just really depends on your muse. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump into the cons. So just like any other brand, it is going to have its downsides. So I have owned most of my suits for like about a year now, actually maybe more than about a year. And I got to say that there are some things that need to be like perfected or need to be improved on uh, as far as quality. And before I jump into that, if you're not following me yet on Instagram, definitely go ahead and do so. My stuff will be right here. So just go ahead and give me a follow. You can see that I wear something from Indochino almost every single day, whether it be chinos, pants, vests, jackets, you name it. I'm probably wearing something from Indochino, not only because I work there, it's just because everything that I have from there actually fits. Starting off with the first con, uh, everybody tells me that the time is a huge con, and I got to agree with that. It does take two to three weeks for you to get a suit. Um, sometimes you need a suit right on the fly and you want it to fit. Unfortunately, the made to measure process takes a little bit longer. Again, you got to think that Somebody is definitely taking your measurements and they're cutting something just specifically for you. That does take time. Right off the bat, I got to say that time is a con. I am going to go ahead and nitpick a few things um, with the details. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the first detail, the suspender buttons on the pants. I have owned these for just over a year now. And these are like the first suit that I first got from Indochino. These are the uh, Hemsworth charcoal, the one that I mentioned before. And uh, just take a look at the buttons here. I'm missing one. Well, yeah, I'm missing one in the back here. Let's see, I'm missing one on the side. Um, and I'm missing one, I think, on this side. Oh, I'm missing both of them on this side. Uh, I was always super excited to have suspenders on, especially button suspenders. And then I threw on suspenders maybe twice with these. And then, like, they gave out. So that's. A con next detail that i'm going to say is a con is side tabs so if you don't know what side tabs are they're these guys here side tabs are um i don't want to say that they're cheaply made i just want to say that they probably don't have the best design for them let's just put it that way side tabs are supposed to basically be used as your belt you don't have belt loops but you then you have side tabs which don't split you in half for me it's perfect because i hate wearing belts just because they flip me in half, so I always go with side tabs, especially when I have the option to, I'm always gonna go that route. However, these things have been a little bit of a pain, especially on my other pants that I've had uh, in the past and then some that I have now. Um, some of them have actually uh, like broken from like the seam here. 
they've actually ripped so i've had to go back to like the tailor and tell them to like double stitch it just so it won't happen again and the pants are basically fitted to me and i don't know why the side types just go out but they do so just keep that in mind next detail <laughs> and i feel like i'm just ragging on the pants but it's one of those things so i have a cuff on these pants i also have a cuff on most of my other pants um again they give you that option to try to cuff your pants i cuff my pants the stitching on the inside here on my other pants actually came undone uh, i don't know how and i do have a very small foot opening though I will give them that, that I do have a very small foot opening. So when I put on like my pants and then I had to put my foot through it, sometimes I do kind of like get into the seam and that might be a little bit more of my fault, but I feel like it should be stitched a little bit better. As far as the jacket goes, I don't really have many things that I can say are cons as far as the little details. Uh, I want to say that they're, they're all actually pretty well done. All right, guys. So there you have it those were my pros and cons of indochino suits both premium and luxury and a little bit of my personal experience with the suits uh so definitely go ahead and leave any comments down below whether you've experienced these things or if you had something completely different happen i'd love to go ahead and hear any stories that you go ahead and give me down there definitely go ahead and follow me on all my social media and um go ahead and give this video a thumbs up Go ahead and subscribe to this channel hit that notification bell we're definitely trying to go ahead and ramp up to get to 200 uh subscribers so definitely go ahead and support share this video with anybody that you find uh suitable for it and just you know overall just go ahead and share it if you find it helpful for you or for somebody else um, thank you so much for the support and as always style up